Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the C++ link library to get the minimum and maximum values of an integer array. A surrogate board I'm going to be using an ASP32 Firebeetle board from DevRobot, but as mentioned in other tutorials, uh, the C++ link is a generic uh, C++ library, so it can be used as a regular Arduino library, and you can target other microcontrollers such as, for example, the SP8266. So, jumping right into the code, the first thing we need to do is including the C++ link library, and then declaring the using of the C++ link namespace. This step here only to make our code simpler, so we don't need to use a scope resolution operator every time we want to call a function from this namespace. Then we are going to uh, jump to the Arduino setup function uh, where we are going to write the rest of our code uh, and as usual we are going to start by opening a serial connection so we can uh, output the results of our program. Followed by that we are going to define an integer array uh, with a lot of numbers as you can see here with a lot of elements but basically 1000 is the maximum element of our array and 4 is the minimum uh, uh, value uh, so at the end of this program we expect to obtain both these values uh, just by using C++ link operators. And then we are going to start um, applying the C++ link operators over our array to extract both the, min the maximum and the minimum values like we want uh, because this is the objective of our program. And uh, this code will be really trivial because C++ link offers uh, these, these uh, utilities right out of the box, but we are going to cover here in detail. So basically the first thing we need to do as usual is converting our array to a range object and to do that, we can call this from array function, passing as input our original uh, array, and then we are going to obtain a range object over which we can now uh, apply the C++ link operators. Then, after we have a range, to get the maximum element of that range, we simply need to call this operator called max, that uh, takes no arguments here, and it will return to us an integer uh, with the maximum uh, value of this range. So really trivial, no need to convert it to other data types, it's pretty much just getting a range from our array, calling the max operator, and then we are going to uh, obtain an integer with the maximum value from that array. In terms of uh, obtaining the minimum element, the procedure is pretty much the same, except that now we are going to call an operator called min, uh, which pretty much will return the minimum element from our range. Again, we just need to obtain it and save it in a variable. And that's it, really trivial. Uh, two very simple operators from the C++ link library. Uh, again, this can be very easily implemented uh, with uh, for loops, but don't forget that if we are building a more complex expression tree, it's very useful to have access to both of these, um, of these uh, operators, because imagine that we are first doing a filtering, and then from the result of that filtering, we want to obtain either the max or the minimum elements. Uh, we just need to chain these operators here. And our code is really easy to read um, and very trivial to understand. But uh, just to finish the code, so after we have these um, both the minimum and the maximum values, we are going to print them to the serial port, as you can see here. Uh, and that's it. Very simple. I've already uploaded the code to my SP32, as you can see here. Um, basically, we have already obtained the elements. Let me just reset so you can see the code running from scratch. But basically, as you can see here, we have obtained here the max element, which is 1000, like we have um, seen at the beginning of our code. You can look into the array and basically 1000 is the biggest value. And then the minimum value is 4 like we have also uh, expected, and as you can see here, 4 is also the minimum element of this, uh, of this array. So that's it, very simple, um, but very useful, these two operators, and in future tutorials we are going to see they're useful um, by chaining them with other C++ link operators. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, thank you very much for watching.